As it is the tradition, the Senate President who appeared before the probe committee was put under oath, like every other person appearing to testify before the investigative committee. I, Provoca Mokola Saraki, do solemnly swear and affirm that our evidence I shall give before you, this distinguished committee, shall be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing the truth, so help me God. Speaking, Senator Saraki told the Senate Committee on Ethics and Privileges that he was not involved in the importation of the seized SUV. Saraki added that he was neither an importer nor involved in the importation of the said vehicle by using any agent on his behalf. I'm not an importer. At no time did I import any SUV Range Rover. Um, as you know, this is a vehicle that is not a personal vehicle, a vehicle that was processed through the National Assembly. I don't know anything about the importation. I didn't appoint any clearing agent. Um, or anything like that. Like most of the vehicles that are here, you only know when it's delivered to you. None of this was I either did I import or give any or, or get any agent or go to the port. This is not true. The Senate president said the senators had the responsibility to protect the institution from those trying to pull the Senate down at all costs. He expressed that the only difference between the military administration and that of democracy was the National Assembly. I believe that... Um, this process is good for us. I, I, I to further strengthen our institution. I think it's a great day for our democracy for me to come as a president and say, come before you on this kind of and, and answer these questions. But I think at the same time, Mr. Chairman, we must protect this institution. As members of this institution, we will come and go. We must protect this institution. To ridicule an institution of this caliber is not something we should take lightly. And that is why I've taken time to be here. Uh, today it is me. Or tomorrow it could be any years. I think it's part of the sacrifice we are taking in the work that we are doing that we have these kind of things that do not hold water. The vehicle which is the center of the controversy was impounded by officials of the Nigeria Customs Service in January after discovering that the documents used in clearing it were allegedly forged according to the cable. There have been allegations that the role of the Senate with Hamid Ali, Controller General of Customs, is as a result of the action of the agency. Former Majority Leader Senator Ali Ndume had told the committee on Monday, March 27, that he had no evidence linking Saraki to the ownership of the seized SUV vehicle. Gabriel Kuma, ITV News Abuja.